Hey guitar friends, it's Mike. I recently uploaded a video displaying my vintage collection of made in Japan guitars. My collection spans the late 1960s up through 1990. As you can see on my channel, I have a number of videos where I refurbish these guitars and bring them back to life. One of my favorite guitars in the collection is my 1970s Les Paul style Greco Custom. It's just a great looking guitar. I purchased it a couple of years back for a good price, but it needed new frets, which is not uncommon for these old guitars. So I finally got around to doing the frets, and before I started the fret work, I took my radius tool to check the radius on the guitar, and it was very odd. In some spots along the fretboard, the radius was 9.5 inches, and in other spots it was closer to 12 inches. And the fretboard is not a compound radius. The machining back then did not have the precision that ultimately evolved, and especially not what we have today. So, I have found inconsistencies in the past on the old guitars, but this one was more obvious. So, I needed to decide whether to radius the neck at 9.5 inches or 12 inches. So, I contemplated the dilemma, and I ultimately went with 12 inches, and the reason is because the fretboard would have required more sanding to reshape the 12 inch areas down to 9.5 inches because at 9.5 inches the fretboard has more of an arc which means to get it to 9.5 inches the sides of the fretboard where the binding is would have been affected. So I decided on 12 inches because it would have a lot less effect on the binding that goes along the edges of the fretboard. I really didn't want to take a chance in damaging the binding. But there is a downside to doing that because back in the day the guitar was a nine and a half inch radius fretboard and so the change to 12 inches to a collector could devalue the guitar. In other words, if I sell the guitar it might not get the money it would have gotten if the original specs were there. I also swapped out the old bridge for a new 12 inch roller bridge and I also installed a new bone nut. Everything else on the guitar is stock, including the electronics. So here are some images of the Greco with its new 12 inch radius fretboard. Thanks for watching.